Hello everyone, this is another reading for the week starting 29th of May 2022. I hope you're all well and that you've had a moment to just check out the cards at the beginning and see what you're drawn to. Then if you haven't done so, pop back, pause it for a moment and then come back to me right here and now. So this reading is done with the Messenger Animal Oracle. I am the artist and the author of this deck. It's not yet for sale, but it will be soon. Now the cards that came forth this week. Yay for the manta ray. Yay for the sloth. And yay for the platypus. <laughs> Brilliant cards. They're all actually very similarly aligned to where you are existing but sort of influencing in different ways of your life so it's kind of exciting to see these cycles and growth that come forth and what you need to realize in alignment to that so the manta ray is is a seeker it's telling you that you know you need to start putting all the signs together the thoughts and the ideas and the the what are you seeing? Are you seeing insects, animals, clouds? Or where are the signs coming through? Are they coming through other people? Are they coming through dreams? Where are you seeing the signs? Start putting together the pieces because this is imperative for you to be able to step into the next stage. You're being shown how to magnetize those dreams and that reality that you've been asking for to you. So if you're not seeing what's going on you're not seeing all that information or hearing that information just allow yourself to set step back reflect each day reflect and allow just look look and hear everything as a piece of the puzzle it's just really exciting when you go and open your mind to recognize how it all fits and you're just constantly being guided to the next step so manta ray is about letting go of, you know, the limiting perception that doesn't let you see and understand and go seek the answers. <laughs> Seeker, flow with life, put it all together, bring it together, and then you're just going to be, you're going to be guided to where you have to go next. And that's, that's living the dream. Okay, the sloth. <laughs> So if you've got the sloth this week and you're drawn to the sloth, then you're essentially being told to slow down, that life is going too fast and you're taking on too much and you are in that space not able to magnetise what you actually want and how you want to feel simply because there's too much going on. <laughs> you can't hear, you can't recognise who you are, what you want, or how you want to be, because simply there's just too much energy coming in from all other angles. Your focus is not allowing you to fit anything else in. The cup's too full, basically. So the sloth is encouraging you to step back from the activity this week, to try to press reset, and in that reset, if you, can, if you can make tiny tweaks to your routine each and every day, then you slowly build into a routine that you are able to maintain. So it's not just a whim. It is actually something you can maintain longer term, and that's where it becomes beneficial. You wake and sleep, you rest and play, you work and reflect, and then it all ties in to create this greater positive vibration balance and allowing daily pause and integration will lead you to your goals and dreams where you want to be in a positive energy rather than an exhausted energy all right so platypus <laughs> the platypus is great if you got the platypus this week then it's a brilliant sign that you should trust in yourself the, what you're feeling, what you're knowing, what you're connecting to, people, the places, the experiences, the thoughts, those, those tingles and angel bumps. Yes, yes, it's all correct. You, you seem to be stepping out of a cycle of 
something is it's kind of like stepping out of a winter and coming into the spring so there's growth there's expansion there's you know this this personal space within you feels like it's connecting to more light more memory of who you are and what you want to be and in that it's reflecting back to you and it's exactly what you're receiving so don't hesitate take the bull by the horns <laughs> roll with a platypus and allow that other cycle to finish and transition and flow into the new cycle and you're going to find you integrate and you just embrace this new part of yourself new part of life that's potentially more professionally aligned more soul aligned and just grew, just brings you greater joy each and every day which is beautiful that's that's exactly right okay so recapping manta ray the sloth oops and the platypus with you this week okay so have a blessed week living consciously being aware of what's going on letting go in small incremental steps so that you can step up and into change that it can be maintained long term that's the key trust in you and allow integrate flow i'm going to keep saying it <laughs> integrate flow <laughs> continuity <laughs> sorry i'll let you go now <laughs> have a wonderful week Mwah. bye <laughs>